Welcome to Greater Faith Outreach Ministries, reaching the world with the love of God. Hello, 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 and welcome to Greater Faith Outreach Ministry here at BD Loco. We have Karenette in the house. Ooh, yes. <laughs> yes, they're doing wonderful work for so many generations. But we're going to get into that. But I'm going to let Elizabeth Kim, my co-host, she's going to start it off. Oh, oh we also we have Wendy here, co-host <laughs> Wendy Sundstrom. And Hello. Our other co-host, Elizabeth Kim, Miss Bellevue, Washington. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and she's going to introduce our guest, and we're going to go ahead and get the ball rolling, okay? Let's go. Well, thank you so much for having um, Tanika here today. And she is the uh, center director at Tacoma CareNet Center. And um, she's going to share a little bit about uh, what kind of service CareNet provide and how this CareNet, um, you know, strengthen the woman who's going through the crisis pregnancy. So, hello, Tanika. Hi, <laughs> Tanika White. <laughs> yeah, thank you for coming in here. So, yeah. I mean, when I was a client, I just, I went through the Bothell Clinic, you know, but i um, so grateful that I met you. So, can you tell us a little bit about CareNet? Yes. Um, CareNet is a faith-based pregnancy center. A lot of times people ask, well, what is that? Well, we're actually nonprofit. All of our services are at no cost to women. Um, we provide free pregnancy tests, free ultrasounds, free parenting classes. We also provide material assistance. So, somebody that's not even actually a client, they can come through the door if they need diapers and wipes for their littles. We provide that for them as well. We also provide um, abortion recovery. Mm -hmm. So if there's women out there that have chosen um, that and they're having regrets about it, they're having emotions about it, they're having feelings about that and trauma behind that, there is an eight-week class that they can take with other women and other leaders that have been through the same thing. Mm -hmm. um, no judgment, no shame. And so they get to walk That's through wonderful. the healing process. And then also we have a men's ministry where um, young men, older men, <laughs> right now we have an older dad that's taking the classes um, that can do parenting classes with another male mentor one-on-one. -on -one. So we provide a lot of services and they all kind of gel yeah. together and work together one Wonderfully. Oh, wow. Yeah. Can I believe it's all free? I mean, you mm -hmm. don't charge at all? Not not at all. We don't even require insurance or anything like wow. that. I know there's other programs that require insurance, but there's no red tape, so, so you can come right in. If you don't mind me asking, is this a government funded or who all of our all of our funds mm -hmm. come from private donors. Okay. We do have some grants, mm -hmm. but mainly all of our resources come from private donors. And a lot of times, those are people that are actually in the churches oh, okay. and outside community. So, mm -hmm. how do you start people who don't have the same faith? Like, not everybody believe in the Lord, you know. So, I'm sure people who don't know Jesus Christ as their savior step into your care, cent you know, um, mm -hmm. center. Um, do you have any success in that? Do, are they open absolutely, to, absolutely. Okay. So if there's an open door and we see that mm -hmm. somebody is open to receiving mm -hmm. um, more guidance in their faith mm -hmm. and want to know more about mm -hmm. Christianity, then we share that. Um, but we don't force our beliefs on anybody. We're here to care for that person mm -hmm. and we don't let anything else stand in the way when it comes to that. So um, daily we have clients come through our door that are not Christian and then mm -hmm. sometimes we do, but um, a lot of times we get to pray with them regardless, mm -hmm. um, we get to share faith with them a lot of times, and it's really amazing. I think that I probably pray for like 99% of my clients, uh, even oh, atheists sometimes come oh, through the wow. door, and I'm like, is there any way I can be praying for you? And they say, yes, can you pray for this, this, and that? And we get to pray in that appointment, and sometimes I get to have a continued relationship with okay. those clients, and sometimes I don't get to see them again, so oh, wow. yeah. That's awesome. That's mm -hmm. sweet. Yeah, do you have any question, ladies? Well, I'd like to say if you if you are out there and you are able to donate to this awesome ministry, I would encourage that. And her name and her ministry should be rolling al along the bottom of the the feeds. So as you're watching, so take that number down, jot it down, and and send her some donations if you can. So, so what is the expectation like? Um, I was referred by my friends like 10 years mm -hmm. ago. So I did not know I didn't have health insurance at the time. So I didn't have any option but going there. Mm -hmm. But me personally, 
all these nurses were really professional mm -hmm. and then they gave me all this information and they taught me how to take care of babies and everything so can you touch on that a little bit mm -hmm. yeah on the medical side so medical we have a doctor too, yeah. that oversees mm -hmm. um all of the medical mm -hmm. um, portion of the ministry and then we have nurses and a director of nurses that oversees mm -hmm. the medical side as well mm -hmm. so all of um our medical staff are professional mm -hmm. and trained and they get continued training and education and um, expanded classes on mm -hmm. all varieties of, um, of of areas and they get to continue to be on top of the latest mm -hmm. when it comes to medical care so we have excellent nurses they give excellent care to our clients but then there's also the faith-based side of that as well we have nurses that have strong faith backgrounds and so if they're talking to a client mm -hmm. maybe they're mm -hmm. in an ultrasound and baby has no heartbeat and the client mm -hmm. was excited about that baby then she can pray with that client and um, they're just really well versed well, what amazing work that you guys are doing. It's yeah. like a wraparound program. Right. It really is. You said you do biblical teaching and mm -hmm. truth and mm -hmm. you um, pregnancy, mm -hmm. sexual health mm -hmm. and uh, abortion recovery and things right. like that. And you also help the men out. Yep. Right. You're just, it's just so much compassion in here, you know, mm -hmm. I feel that. And you're doing so much, and what you're doing is investing. You're investing your life and yourself into this next generation, mm -hmm. which means so much, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it means so much to invest yourself right. into the lives of these children. You don't know who you're investing into, the right. governors, lawyers, preachers, right. doctors, you know? Right. It's just awesome. I'm right. excited about yeah, what you guys right. are doing. I really am. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so let me ask you. So, um, there are not many people want to maybe keep the baby. You know, I was mm -hmm. struggling at the time too, mm -hmm. out of fear, lack of resources, and everything. So, um, have you ever run into clients who actually just want to abort a child? Oh, absolutely. Then how do you? Our approach Amazing. is the mm -hmm. first thing we do when we sit down with a pregnancy test client mm -hmm. is to ask them, what is your biggest concern today? Mm -hmm. And the way we wrap up the appointment is, do you have any questions or do you have any concerns? So that full appointment is all about them, everything mm -hmm. that they're going through, mm -hmm. getting information on their support system, what that mm -hmm. looks like, mm -hmm. asking them about their living situations. We've had a lot of clients that are experiencing homelessness. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of different factors. So we need to get to the root of what it is that's keeping them from making the choice for life, mm -hmm. whether they want to carry that baby, whether they want to choose adoption, or if they're really looking at abortion as an option. So we want to know the why behind mm -hmm. it. Right. And if we can fill in the blanks, then that takes away the pressure in that area. We have um, we had a, a couple of clients, um, couples that were experiencing homelessness and we were able to get oh. them housing mm -hmm. and that's get good. that thing settled. Mm -hmm. And so when those kind of pressures Mm -hmm. are let down then there's more opportunity for them mm -hmm. to really think about this pregnancy so our approach is woman focused mm -hmm. and that's because it takes a woman really having a settled mind before mm -hmm. they can really think about another life and so that's what we look at that's good mm -hmm. so I just want to clear um, I clarify this one so a care net you do not perform or do you perform any abortion we don't clinic. we don't perform or we don't refer for refer. abortion mm -hmm. and that's really counterintuitive because we yeah. have the the healing tide program which is the post abortive mm -hmm. um recovery program okay. and so we're not going to refer a woman to go out and get an abortion only to have her come back and get counseling mm -hmm. so um that's why we don't do that mm -hmm. and um i think that anybody that really wants to make that choice um, has all the resources available mm -hmm. to them yeah. to make mm -hmm. that choice. Yeah. But our focus is on pregnant clients because yeah. we are a pregnancy center, not a family planning center. Yeah. That's and that's good. I heard you say you listen to what they have to say. Right. Why would they do that? So they want to know, what do I do? Where do I go? Mm -hmm. And they also want to know, where does life start? A lot right. of times the doctors would tell them, oh, it's just a, you know, a mm -hmm. fetus is not, you know, a baby yet. So you guys are there to show them the truth. Amen. 
right. okay mm -hmm. and it and it helps mm -hmm. out you know when yeah. they know the truth when the baby starts the life starts yeah, from exactly. the right and we perform those conception. only ultrasounds mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. so we don't have to convince a woman once mm -hmm. they go into that ultrasound room we always say that's where the magic happens yeah. <laughs> because when they see that heartbeat on wow. the screen we don't have to tell them so I believe it's 96 percent of our clients that go to ultrasound choose life for their babies that was and me so Yep. That was me. There you like, go. Oh, this nurse, I, was, I think that was Sue at the time. She was like, I see the little baby. It was a little tiny jelly bin. I was like, I was like, not a baby, not a baby. And then he's like jumping around, you know, in your belly. And, you know, I could see that he has full of energy. And I could not. I, I just, you know, I decided to keep the baby then. Yeah. And mm. my child's ba uh, uh, father was there too. And we both like crying. <laughs> so, yeah, thank you for what yeah. you're doing. Can you share a little bit about challenges and, you know, what you're facing and what is the thing that we can do to help you as well? Yeah, there's a lot of ways that people can be involved, even if it just comes down to prayer. Just put mm. us on your prayer list mm. because every day we're warring. We never really know what's going to come through our doors. We walk in appointments. Mm. And so there's so many tough scenarios. There's so many tough situations. Before I um, came into the center, I was working with another program that was outside the center, and I knew what CareNet did, mm. but I didn't know what CareNet did mm. until I was there one-on-one -on -one facing those clients. So mm. somebody that can pray. Mm. Um, also, if you um, you have the funds to be able to mm -hmm. donate to the centers. We always need diapers. We always need wipes. Mm -hmm. um, we always need those baby items. Mm -hmm. If they're lightly used or brand new, mm -hmm. just send them in. We get There's so many times where we have clients that need this and they mm -hmm. need that. And we're like, oh, what are we going to do? And we pray about it. And then like the next day it comes wow. in the mail. <laughs> and we're like, Praise what? God. Anonymous. So that's great if you can donate that way. And also you can always write us a nice juicy check. We mm -hmm. don't turn those away <laughs> so yeah, yeah yes. absolutely and then if you really want to be hands-on and you really mm -hmm. feel called to be a volunteer yeah, we we good. definitely mm -hmm. open the door for volunteers and um it's not the most easy process mm -hmm. and because you're uh, going to take classes right there are classes mm -hmm. it's a lot of training mm -hmm. i always tell our volunteers we love you you guys are not volunteers you are unpaid staff because oh. of the training that they go through and yeah. they need that training because of what they face but if that's something that you really want to be involved in you feel a tug on your heart even if you're a male out there and you think wow i could really mentor or help a man walk in fatherhood walk in you know being a husband walk in being a partner then men that's a way that you can be involved as well that nice. is awesome. mm -hmm. and i you. see you have an event coming up coming up soon mm -hmm. and i liked what you said about this mm -hmm. event mm -hmm. it says uh, sanctity of human life mm -hmm. is more than just a day to acknowledge the value god has placed upon all of us Mm -hmm. It is a way to connect your church to real impactful opportunities in our community to support women, their unborn children, their families who need life affirming hope, help and care. I love that. Mm -hmm. And it is, you know, we have to wa work together and help one another. So this event is coming up when? <clears throat> um, well, we, we usually what well, we usually um, look to celebrate that time around January 20th, and I believe it falls on the 22nd for a Sunday. 19th. Oh, the 19th. 19th. Eh, okay. okay. <laughs> Rewind, the 19th. So You have so much going on, I know. <laughs> I keep it all straight. You know, I got a new planner. I'm ready for 20, 2020. Um, so the 19th, so that's a Sunday, and we'll have um, – quite a few speakers on behalf of CareNet go into the churches and talk about sanctity of human life mm. and talk about um, the pro-life movement, also talk about um, maybe women in the church that have experienced abortion that need mm -hmm. healing from that. Mm -hmm. And so we touch on all sides of it. Mm -hmm. And then we also, within the churches, do something called a baby bottle drive. Mm -hmm. And that's one of our big fundraisers throughout the year. And so we set up empty baby bottles and they get to take wow. them home, fill them up with change, dollars, checks, and then they get to bring them back and they get to come to, to CareNet. Yeah. And that's oh, nice. how we get to do that yeah. fundraiser. Mm-hmm. We're going to talk more about that in the next segment. Yes. That's really powerful. So uh, this event, how can churches get involved? Can you give us some uh, numbers and websites or something we can get? Yep, absolutely. So CareNet 
PS.org. That's carenetps.org. Carenetps.org. Mm-hmm. C-A-R-E-N-E-T. P as in Paul, S dot org. <laughs> um, so they can go on to there and they can get information about Sanctity of Human Life, Souls. We call it for short, S-O-H-L-S. Okay. Mm-hmm. And um, they can get information about that. They can get information about the center. They can get mm-hmm. information about how to be involved. So everything you need to know is on that website. Okay. Mm-hmm. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, thank you so much for being with us, yes. Tanika. Thank you. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. You've been listening to Greater Faith Outreach Ministries with Pastor Elizabeth, reaching the world with the love of God. If you'd like prayer or a copy of today's program, log on to www.greaterfaithoutreach.com or call 253-324-7902.